Hi guys, welcome back to Miss Shea's Kitchen. Today we are making Dirty Rainbow Rice. I'll show you how to make it step by step. And please do tell me if you try making this rice, what you think about it. So we're going to start by washing our basmati rice. I am going to wash this rice so many times because I don't want to wash it after cooking because I want to make yellow rice. So we'll start by putting our rice in our pot. Uh, I'll start cooking from 6. Once it starts boiling, I reduce the stove to 4. I'm going to pour my water. You can do the measurements, but by now, I believe I now know how to do it by eyes. But then remember, every 2 cups, it's 4 cups of water. 1 is to 2. That's the measurements. So we're going to be putting we're going to be putting our turmeric powder. And don't forget to put your salt so that your rice has taste. And we're also going to be putting cooking oil and then mixing everything together to make sure our rice comes out nice, delicious, and has flavor. So yeah, that's all you need for your rice. Let's move on to the next step as we close the rice. We are going to be cutting our onions. So today we will cut our onions and fry our onions first before putting means. Please don't make the mistake that I did. My pot was very hot. So this uh, led to my onions burning just a bit. But then it didn't um, disturb or bring any burn test to the food. So we're going to be adding our minced meat. And we just add salt and allow our minced to fry. These are our ingredients we're using in the next part. So we'll start by putting our spices. You can either copy the spices that I'm using in this video step by step. Or you can use your favorite spices. I love vegetable spice. I think I'm going to be using this a lot in most of my cookings because I really love how it tastes. So, okay, I will tell you all the spices that I put in here so that you can see if you want to use the same spices. Okay, so I used seven colors, vegetable spice, barbecue with garlic, um, black pepper, paprika, and garlic flakes. So after putting all those things together, I'm going to put a bit of water, a bit, just to make sure my spices are cooked. And then I fry them first and then put a bit of water to make sure all my spices are cooked and they are well done. This gives it this perfect taste. Okay, so after doing all this, we are now going to add our vegetables. So we'll start with our red pepper and then we'll add our yellow pepper. Then we're going to add our carrot. And then we are going to fry. We are going to fry this mixture. If your um, food doesn't have a lot of cooking oil, you can add a bit of cooking oil. I don't like to cook with a lot of cooking oil. So this was enough for me. So instead of adding cooking oil, I can add a bit of water to make sure that my vegetables are well cooked and they have a bit of a crunchiness but well cooked i don't know if i'm making sense and then after this we are going to put our shallots these are fresh from the garden so your shallots you don't need to cook them for long because they easily get done fastly get done yeah and then after this, we're going back to our yellow rice. We are adding this to the yumminess already so that our rice becomes rainbow and dirty rice. This is just amazing. So yes, we are going to put our rice. Once that's done, we are going to mix. Oh, I have to change my spoon because this won't work. Okay, there we go. The mixing goes. 
guys if you do try this rice please let me know what you think about it and please don't forget to like share and comment tell a friend to tell a friend please help me do grow this channel guys if you do like what we are doing and all the recipes that we're having and please do leave your comment on how this is after you've tried making it as well if you also have a recipe you would like us to make for you we are open to that please do leave it in the comment section oh this looks just amazing and it tastes as good as it looks guys who oh, trust me so this is done we've switched off our stove and guys remember we were making this on the lowest heat possible that's at one because uh everything is well done but we just needed to mix so going to the next step of our dish we are going to be making butternut so we'll start by pouring water in our butternut so when it comes to pouring water you can use as little as you need for me i put a lot of water because i like my butternut to be covered by water it makes it easy and faster to be cooked but you can even put a bit of water because we're going to throw away the water or remove the water afterwards so i'm going to be putting brown sugar as you can see i put one teaspoon and then i'm also going to put a teaspoon of cinnamon and then we're going to cover our butternut and allow it to boil very easy yet delicious recipe so this is how my butternut will be when it's done and then yeah so we've got our rice and i'm dishing now up for myself and everyone else and oh guys trust me do try this rainbow rice and tell me what you think about it and don't forget to leave your comments otherwise um this is the end of our video thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i love you guys and i'm grateful for your support please do stay tuned for our videos love you guys bye